Hello students I hope you are doing well You must have heard about a phenomenon called refraction isn't it in your physics you must have heard about refraction reflection Have you ever been confused about refraction So here I'm going to explain to you how refraction happens with the help of a car So let's get into this video The basic phenomenon refraction means bending of light. And when does light bend? Light bends when it goes from one medium to another medium. Right? So it's basically called the bending of light. Right? So let us go and check out what happens in the board. Imagine you have a medium, right? You have a medium or I'll say a interface. interface is a boundary a separation between two medium imagine you have air here and you have water here you have air you have water this is called air water interface the boundary of the medium now in this when the light falls as you can see that as the light falls in this medium as the light falls in this medium you see as soon as it touches the medium it bends all right it bends and in this case when you have a normal you must be knowing that the normal is a light ray or i say the normal is a line drawn on the interface where the incidence is happening so you see this light ray is falling at a point right so this point is called as point of incidence and you should draw normal on the point of incidence right we should draw normal on the point of incidence now you see here light incident ray is coming and you have to, and it's hitting the interface and you drew a normal there and this angle is called angle of incidence all right this is called angle of incidence now from here the light is going to bend like this i will say towards the medium okay so basically this is a basic refraction phenomenon i will tell you how the bending and all happens this phenomenon is called refraction and the angle between the normal and the refracted ray this is incident ray students and this is refracted ray so the angle between normal and the refracted ray remember all of your angles should be measured from normal okay so the angle between refracted ray and the normal is angle of refraction okay it's called angle of refraction now so in this case what is going to happen light is bending now let me tell you how light actually bends here fine to make you understand that let me go to the next page and i told you i'll take an example of a car okay now imagine you have an interface i have an interface here and a car with two wheels remember car has two front wheels right so if a car is coming with two front wheels like this it's coming straight imagine let us let's imagine the car is coming straight on the interface or i'll say this is sand and this is concrete two interface for the car sand and a concrete now in this case now let me tell you you see the two tires of the car they enter the sand at the same time so what happens as soon as the car enters the sand it slows down right it slows down but the direction does not change that is what happens to a light when it enters through the normal you look here when a light enters through the normal it goes straight only it doesn't change the path it goes straight it goes straight but slower in the denser medium light goes slower so one of the reason why the refraction happens is 
the change in medium causes the change in speed now if the same car was coming the different angle okay let me draw the same car coming a different angle right now you look here what is happening the car is coming in a different angle like this right the car is coming in a different angle okay now when the car is coming in different angle look at this two tires which are in the front as soon as the car reaches this tire is going to become slow first okay when this tire becomes slow this tire is still going faster isn't it this tire becomes slow and this tire is still going faster so in this case what is going to happen the vehicle is going to take this type of turn can you see it's going to take a turn like this right this is the same way even how light bends okay when light comes in this way and when it's coming to a rarer to denser medium remember rarer is the medium with whose optical density is less denser is the medium whose optical density is small so when, when the light is coming from rarer to denser medium and you of course you should have a normal always okay i'll draw the normal here you have a normal here okay the light bends towards normal just like a car so remember when you are coming from rarer to denser medium okay rarer to denser medium light bends towards normal okay light bends towards normal now you will you will ask me how is the towards normal look like i will show you this is how towards normal look see if light didn't bend it will go like this correct if the light didn't bend it will go like this without bending this is the light without bending but when it bends towards normal look here it's bending towards the normal can you see light is bending towards the normal this is what happens when light goes from rarer to denser medium now let me take you an example of denser to rarer media now imagine you have a interface now initially i will explain you with the help of a car which i told you in the beginning i will explain to you only with the help of a car now your car is coming from sand to concrete now understand sand is the denser medium for the car and concrete is a rarer medium because in concrete car can go faster in sand cars go slow same way for light light goes faster in rarer medium and light goes slower in denser medium right so i have a concrete here okay now imagine the car is coming like this okay car is coming like this now you have a wheel two wheels here <clears throat> now as soon as the wheel reaches the interface as soon as the wheel reaches the boundary you see what is the phenomenon that is happening here this wheel is going to go fast and this wheel is still inside the sand that's why it is going to go slow understood one wheel now is coming to the concrete first is going to go faster and the other wheel that is still in the sand is going to travel slower so as soon as it happens this wheel since it this wheel goes faster the the car tends to bend in this direction can you see the car tends to bend in this direction and again why is this bending happening because of change in speed this bending is happening because of change in speed now same way happens for the light also all right so when the light is coming from one, one medium to uh, denser medium to rarer medium you have the normal you should always have the normal and you know the angles which i told you and uh, in this case the light is going to bend away from the medium see if this is the undeviated ray this is called as the away from the medium sorry from away from the normal 
all right and this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of refraction for us okay so when light comes from denser to rarer medium all right when light comes from denser to rarer medium it bends away from normal okay it bends away from normal that's that's what you have to keep in mind then when it tends, comes from denser to rarer medium it bends away from normal in here it bends when it comes from rarer to denser medium it bends towards the normal and when it comes from denser to rarer medium light bends away from the normal so this is what something you need to keep in your mind and look at the angle also angle of incidence i angle of incidence r so in this case when light is coming from rarer to denser your i is going to be always greater than r i is going to be greater than r so keep that thing in your mind when it's coming from rarer to denser medium i is always going to be greater than r similarly when it's coming from denser to rarer medium i is going to be less than r so this is a differentiation factor that you should be knowing what will happen in this particular case during refraction right so now let me tell you the main cause why refraction happens is because of the change in speed of light and the main reason why change in speed happens is because of the optical density or the refractive index so you should know that light slows down when you when it enters when not you when it enters the denser medium so basically denser medium is called high refractive index okay high refractive index this is the first condition it slows down when it reaches high refractive index same way light speeds up speeds up when it enters low refractive index region or refractive index medium i will say index medium okay when light enters low refractive medium so it is called rarer medium okay so this is something that you should be knowing and this is something you should be keeping very much very much very much important in your mind all right so with this i hope you have understood this particular phenomenon refraction is a very important phenomenon yes there is one more phenomenon which is called reflection which will be done in my upcoming videos now i hope you have understood the concept of refraction very well so students i hope you have found this particular video very useful so please do like share and subscribe to this channel and share with all of your friends what's wrong in sharing the knowledge right so please do share this knowledge with all of your friends i hope i could make this concept of phenomenon very simple for you there will be more videos which will be upcoming so until then students adios